Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, September 12th, 2019. Um, as you can see, it is raining. Uh, it's been raining all day. It started last night, oh, maybe 10 30, 11 ish, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's just been nice and steady. We just had a fog came through here. It was actually pretty wild. It was really foggy a little while ago, but uh, obviously not anymore. So very, very interesting. So I, wa I was going to talk about a uh, topic today. Not in Benjamin, not in, not, let me see if I can say his name right. Not in Nehu, I, however you say it, the Prime Minister of Israel, who was embroiled in that big scandal. Their elections are coming up on the 17th of September here, okay? And he has stated that if he wins the election, they're going to annex part of the West Bank. And uh, I just think that that's really, really interesting. So he's basically using that, saying that if he wins, they're going to take over part of that there. So I'm sure that won't cause any kind of problems at all around the world. Um, I know that he was meeting with Russia uh, recently, with Putin, and uh, Putin has voiced his displeasure with the idea of uh, Israel annexing part of the West Bank. So, so it's some, uh, the, the, I'm trying to think of the name. It's, some, it's something Valley. I can't think of the name of it off the top. Actually, I can tell you in a second. Hold on a second, guys. So I just was looking at it, and uh, I will tell you in a second here. Uh, let's see. It is the Jordan Valley in part of the Dead Sea is what he's talking about. Uh, and it's a quite a large area. And uh, they said that they're going to annex that if uh, if he wins election. And uh, so again, the election is uh, next Tuesday on the 17th. So it should be uh, very very interesting what happens with that. But uh, that's his plan. And uh, I think that a lot of people are not going to be real happy with that plan. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think. Could this lead to? bigger strife in the region, uh, more problems, could it lead to war? Uh, because, you know, if they annex that area, I mean, Israel's just going to go in and take it over. Uh, they, they don't even play. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a whole different kettle of fish when it comes to that. Uh, Israel does not play. So uh, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback on that. What do you think? What do you think of that situation? Uh, and uh, as far as him using that as a tool to help himself try to win that election, I think it's quite interesting. Um, I wanted to mention, I was trying to mention it in my first video yesterday before YouTube cut that first video off, uh, and I ended up having to do a second video. Very, very strange how that happens. If there's a topic that they don't care for me to be talking about, that it'll get killed in midstream like that. It was uh, quite interesting. But anyway, I was talking yesterday... And uh, we screwed up on our last sale. So our last sale that we did, um, we did not include the buckets in that sale. So because of that, and that was a, a major screw up on our part, uh, we decided to run another sale, just a bucket sale. So what we're doing is on my website at PrepperNurse1.com, any of the legacy food buckets, the bucket meals that they have available, uh, they're all 25% off. So we decided to go 25% off on all of those. And also, if after your discount you've spent more than $500, you're going to get a free t-shirt or a free coffee mug, whichever one you would like. Okay, so um, it's just, a, you know, again, it's a bonus for spending that much money on the freeze-dried food. And, uh, you know, it's uh, the food is definitely worth it. I have it myself. Actually, I can show you something. I don't know if you can be able to see here. Uh, really can't see. But okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here, okay, um, of the freeze-dried food. And there's, I think there's two, yeah, there's two in each box of, uh, of the freeze-dried food. I might have to pull that out at some point and show you guys that. But uh, we have the freeze-dried food here, too. So it's not like 
I'm just saying that you should buy it. I also have it here as well, and uh, I, it's part of my preps. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, so if you're interested, again, please go check out the website at PrepperNurse1.com. And it's in the Legacy Food Store, you know, this, that part of it. And uh, all the bucket meals are 25% off for the next two weeks. So we're going to be, uh, oh, like we started the sale yesterday, so like I said, it's going to run for 14 days. So if you are interested and you're looking to add to your freeze-dried food storage, it's a good opportunity to take advantage of that. All right, so um, also on the website we have the Prepper Nurse One community I wanted to talk about real quick, where if you are looking to try to speak with like-minded people, if you're looking to try to form a group, um, or you're just looking to connect with people in your state, or just to chat with people that are also preppers, uh, the Prepper Nurse One community, again, on my website at PrepperNurse1.com, is a great place to do that. It is totally free to join. It does not cost anything. And so it's really, it's a, it's a great way to connect with like-minded people. Okay, it's very private, so you have to register to be able to be able to see what's going on in there. And so if you are interested in that as well, please check that out. And again, that's totally free. Uh, we set that up for you guys just so that you can connect with like-minded people. Uh, the forecast is that it's going to rain all day today. Tomorrow's supposed to be halfway decent, and then I think it's raining all day again on Saturday. Uh, so my sister, uh, my she came up today, and uh, she we're going through some stuff in the camper because we do have a couple of leaks in the camper. So what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be putting tarps on the camper to try to help with that so that it's no more water damage. We are basically, what we're going to do with the camper is uh, get us through this winter, hopefully get something in here in the spring so we can transfer everything out of the camper into, um, you know, the other building. And then that way we will, uh, you know, the camper will be out of here. So um, I'm going to be giving the camper to Greg, my neighbor behind me. Uh, my sister wants a couple things out of the camper, which is fine. But other than that, uh, it's going to go to Greg, and he can do whatever he wants with it. So, but that's going to happen after we, uh, you know, we get we have to have another building to put everything that we have in the camper. We basically have been using the camper for storage. So that's what's going to happen with the camper. <laughs> so just so you guys know. And uh, but other than that, I'm just trying to think what else. Um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think. A uh, very low-key day today, obviously, with the weather. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, like I said, my sister came up, and, you know, we've been talking and stuff like that. And uh, she wants to have a building put in here, and she's looking at the spring. So i got to get a couple loads of stone. We're going to put her building uh, behind the solar panels. And so uh, that's actually going to act as a, as a windbreak as well, to be honest with you, which will be great. Uh, for the solar panels as well, so uh, that's going to look like that's going to happen in the spring. So look look for that. Uh, like I said, this next year should be interesting. We'll see what we can get done here, and uh, time will tell. But uh, I do have plans. Obviously, I have more things that I want to do. I do want to add goats to the homestead. I don't know if it's going to happen next year or not. We will see how how things go. But uh, you know, I'm obviously hopefully in the spring. We'll get one of the hens uh, setting on uh, some eggs, and uh, we'll add more chickens that way. So we'll see what happens. I think it'll be it'll be an interesting year. Uh, of course, more progress with whatever we're going to do here. So uh, there is something coming up over the weekend that I will talk about when that happens. Uh, I think you guys will think it's pretty cool. And there's Mr. Abel. What's up, Abe? You good boy? I know, I'll let you in in a minute, I promise. He's like, hey, what? let me in the house. What? Are you a good boy? It's raining. He's a good cat. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to jump off here from now. I definitely want to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this whole thing with uh, Netanyahu. I think that's how you say his last name, Benjamin Netanyahu. And um, I'm probably wrong. You guys will correct me, of course. But um, he is, like I said, about annexing part of the West Bank if he wins the election next week. So it will be definitely interesting to see how that goes. 
So anyway, guys, I will uh, talk to you all later. Remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. It's so important to do and uh, to let people know how you feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you. All right? And also remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember as well. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you all later. I hope your week is going well, and I hope you guys are staying dry today. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.